joined post-match on Solway Sharks TV with Solway Sharks defenceman Richard Bentham. Richard, happy enough after that game tonight, are you? 12-1 yeah. victory? No, I've, I've, it was fantastic to be a part of that. I think the first sort of five minutes we had to weather the storm, well, I wouldn't even say weather the storm, actually, I think we were just playing on a bit of emotion. I mean, a couple of the boys knew that going into the game, it was mine and Horner's last game. So for, for me as well, it was a little bit emotional. So it was just getting on top of that and then then we started playing our game. I mean, we let them go, go look just through a bit of stupidity, not being disciplined. And then we showed our talent and just saw the game through. And it was it was fun to be a part of. Absolutely buried them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As you mentioned there, that was your last home game for the Sharks. Yeah. Uh, an end of an era almost. It is. It's a good way to go out at home. But, you know, what, what, how, how are we going to go out over the next two weeks? Well, I don't, I don't want to jinx it, but obviously... It would be ideal. Well, it'd be the dream, obviously, to go out with all four. But I'd, it's one step at a time, one drop of the puck at a time, and just take each shift, every everything, one step at a time. Because if you, the minute you get carried away, the minute you, that's when you start making bad decisions, and you only need to make one, and it can sometimes be game over. So, but yeah, I think we've got every chance. I mean, we're playing, we're playing well. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we had a, a good test against Billingham, so that sort of put us in a bit of a mentality of knowing what because without sounding disrespectful we've been walking teams for the last few months it was nice actually to be a part of a, a little series there that we were neck and neck for most of the two games so that I think that will stem us in good shape for when we go to the playoffs and especially when we play Streatham because that, I think deep down that we know that's happening do you know what I mean we don't know who we're facing in the semis and the final or whatever do you know what I mean so I, personally that's one I'm really looking forward to anyway but obviously the playoffs as well, don't get me wrong, but that's the one that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, we spoke in commentary, obviously it was announced tonight and you've mentioned it in the, the start of the interview. Yeah. This is the, the last home game for the Sharks for you. Yeah. We roll on to the next couple of weeks. Looking back on your Sharks career as a whole, yeah. What what's your, your highlights, your lowlights, you know, the best moments? The... <laughs> do, do you know what? We've, I, I, and I mean this from the from the bottom of my heart, it's, it's, the, it's the way I've been made welcome here. I mean, I'm English at the end of the day and I've come up to Scotland and I've just been made so welcome by everybody. And I feel like from the minute I walk through the door, everyone's been there for me and we've gone through, we've gone through so much. Like when I first joined here, we struggled to put performances together. We didn't have half the team in what we've got now. That's no disrespect to anybody. That's just the way it is. But it's just so, it's so, such a privilege to see how it's gone bump, bump, bump. And now everyone's chasing us there. Eh? And it, see, when I first came here, if I'd have thought that, you know, I probably at the time wouldn't have believed it. But I'm telling you now, this cl this club's immense. It's like you, you just need to look at the setup. Martin's done a great job, a fantastic job. So is Jamie, just when I'm going on and helping with the young uns and just the ability they've got at such a young age, and it's it's just absolutely fantastic. Like, and I mean this, anybody who would ever want to come here, you you, I don't think they realise how lucky they are. Do you know what I mean? But it's. It's, it's honestly been such an honour. I mean, some of the boys here, Peanut, he's he's one of my best friends. He was usher at my wedding and stuff. Like first time I met Peanut, we were, we were trying to fight each other on the ice. You know what I mean? So it's just come. It's just so crazy how things work out. Obviously, I've had some amazing nights out up here with the boys and the Scottish boys, and <laughs> definitely know how to do it. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's just been an absolute honour. Obviously, the highlight was for me was last season winning the treble. And now we've got a chance to go one on one above that. So obviously, I want that to be the highlight, but we'll we'll see. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. I've we, seen I've seen a lot of players. I've played with a lot of players in my pa in the past who the last game hasn't always gone to plan. And I want to I want to go out on a high. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So we we mentioned you know as yourself and Gordon took your kind of lap of honour. Almost you were skating around with Young Bradley, who yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. very much up here in Stand B with us, where the camera has become part of the Sharks family. Aye. And you know it's great to see him. I'm sure he'll look on you. That's you know it. when you look back in a couple of years with immense pride. Yeah. When you can tell him your achievements, you can show him exactly our Solo Sharks TV videos of the last few years. And to be to be per perfectly honest with you, I was speaking to Martin at the end of last year, and I was. I was sort of saying I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm done. Like I think, but I spoke to Martin on a level. Martin, he, he didn't convince me to say it was all, all me. But I gave it one more go, and I just, I wanted to play and see him a little boy in the stands and actually see what he thought. Well, not what he thought about it, but I just wanted to look up and see my little boy watching me and that. And 
But, I, but then I see how hard work he is up here, so I think <laughs> I think it's, I need to give Kate a bit of a it's break. It's only fair. <laughs> now the skates are hung Aye. up. Do they get dusted off to help out the junior still? Is that still part no, of the plan? One, one million percent. That's that's going to be my main focus from now on. Because why would I not give back to a club that's been so good to me over the years? You know what I mean? I'm a big believer in karma and stuff like that. So I think if I can do my bit for the club, why not? You know, I, I, how could I not? Do you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. Brad, maybe one day we'll see him on the ice. We, we mentioned it in commentary. Yeah, you never know, I could be I, standing up here in 15 years I, w I wouldn't be talking surprised. about Bradley Bentham scoring for the Sharks, and I'd love to see it. <laughs> it, it, um, it would be good, do you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm definitely not going to force anything. I mean, he's already picking golf clubs up now, and he's chipping balls off the roof and stuff, so he's definitely got that hand-eye coordination already. So, And he loves being there. I mean, he, he walks it, as soon as he pulls up on the car park, his eyes light up, and he thinks he's the king of the ice rink walking in, do you know what I mean? Everybody's so, high-fiving him. He must feel I, like the king as well. No, he does, and... But that, that all stems from the respect I've been given over the years here and stuff, do you know what I mean? And like, I don't, I don't want to get deep or anything, but I've been through a lot the last three years. And to have people there for me who've just put arms around me and just said, you can do this, you can carry on, do you know what I mean? Like, so it's, it's just been incredible. I'm, I'm, I'm so fortunate to have, it was a bit of a way out for me, do you know what I mean? Like moving countries, having some, something on the doorstep, which is something as good as this, do you know what I mean? Like, I, don't, I genuinely don't think people realise how good it is here. I know people come and they see it and they think, oh, it's good, but it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? But I think you only start to appreciate that the older you get towards the end of your career. And I've, I've played everywhere, do you know what I mean? I've, I've been down south, I've, I've played everywhere. But honestly, this is the place that will always be my team. Do you know what I mean? So It's good to hear. We love to hear it from myself personally. I think yeah. I've probably watched your whole Sharks career, um, dating back about nine or ten years. I think I've seen you in a, a Sharks jersey um, yep. since you came here as, as a young young lad almost, Aye. right through to now and even on the flip side of the coin. I could skate then, I could move my legs then. I <laughs> can't move them now. Over the, a couple the, the of tone. seasons watching you um, yeah. play against us as well. So Aye. it's been a pleasure to watch thank such you. a player as yourself over yeah. the last ten years, Richard. I just want to say a massive thank you to you two as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, just... The things that you guys do off the ice and stuff, it's second to none, do you know what I mean? And everyone appreciates it, do you know what I mean? Thank you so much. No, we appreciate your kind words. Yeah. All the best for retirement. Yeah. All the best, obviously, to Kate and Bradley. And yeah. I hope you're bringing them, them along next oh, year. We'll, be, we'll, uh, we'll still be, see yeah. them in the stands. And there's always a guest yeah. um, commentator position available for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll join Watching you. your career has been a pleasure, Richard. <laughs> all the best for it and all the best for the next few weeks. Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Cheers, Andy.